You destroyed half the canvas in your mad quest for power. I've destroyed all your minions. There's no one who can help you now. Your evil ends here. And you have defeated the rogue hamster queen. Congratulations, you win the day. That was amazing. Aren't you glad you decided to give this game another try? I mean, when those strippers came in riding elephants, I thought I was done for. Hey, don't forget the uh, hamsters with the, the Abrams tank. Oh, we can't stop playing now. No, 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 no. We gotta do something else. He's, he, he's gotta have another adventure. Well, um, I don't have much more written up for today. There, there is a small side quest I'll we do can it. go on. Okay, um, although, you know, from all that fighting, you've earned enough XP to level up your character. You might want to do that first. Well, what does that entail? Basically raising some of your stats, picking a new ability. Well, what kind of choices do I have with an ability? Uh, there's always dual wielding. Dual wielding what? Why can't I just dual wield my baseball bats? Because you're not level 5 yet. Okay, what else? Um, you could take Stealthy Mojo. That one doesn't sound so bad. Oh. I'm sorry, that one's only for business majors. Uh, there is Master Trader, though. Hello, unknown sir. That is a mighty fine automobile that you have there. Might I have it for you? Metal hospital to escape from. No! Are you out of your mind? Okay. Well, that one doesn't seem so bad. Uh, what are my other choices? Uh, you could have a level one pet. Fetch Walter. Fetch. Come on, Gibraltar. Come on. Well, I guess that could be pretty useful in a fight. No, level one pets don't actually have any attack value. They're strictly non-combat. There's, um... Oh, forget it. Um, um, what was the name of it? Uh, Night Person. What yes, Night Person. All of your stats, abilities, skills, and feats have a 50% bonus during the night. Well, what happens during the day? No, I, I, I don't think that's a good enough trade-off. Uh, what about Toon Master? I like big butts in the can, not lie. You are the brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with any bitty waste of a brown thing in your face, you get... <laughs> As an astronomy major, possibly not your best fit. You know, yeah. as much as you love that baseball bat, you might try the gutsy slugger feat. Well, what's that do? Well, it greatly increases your damage when you hit, but it lowers your chance to hit. Reduces my chance to hit, like, how much? Are there any of these that don't suck? Depends on how you define suck. I mean, there's, uh... Suck is what we've had so far. Oh. Not suck is what I would like. Okay, how about, um, Slayer of uh, Rodents? I mean, it's just a basic plus three to all rolls against rodential type enemies. You know, actually, that could be fairly useful if I ever come against those rogue hamsters again. Okay. Sign me up. All right, fine. Here we go. Slayer of Rodents has your new ability, uh, some new skills, for the old ones you weren't using anyway, and welcome to the magical, mysterious, wonderful land of level 2. Alright, big man, where are you going to go now? 
Well, I should probably go back to my apartment, take a shower. I don't want to go through this whole new quest with hamster blood all over me. Give me a dex check, buddy. Dex? Oh. Let me guess. I'm not proficient in soap handling. It's awfully, awfully slippery. Oh, is it that bad? Mm -hmm. so? so nothing. I know this game. I'm hip to what you're doing now. The second I try to bend over to pick up that soap, I'm gonna have a random encounter with a large naked man. No! No! I get out of the shower, I don't care if I smell, and I'm drying off and putting on some random freaking clothes. Okay, smartass. I put on some slightly less random clothing. Okay. Um, also, as part of the uh, leveling up process, you are entitled to a randomly generated piece of armor. I can go ahead and roll that up for you now if you want. Well, yeah. Sure. Okay. It is a t-shirt. What kind of t-shirt? You're getting there. It is a plus one t-shirt of... Stench resistance. So I'm more resistant to bad smells? No, the shirt is more resistant to bad smells. Well, what good does that do me? Well, it means you can wash it less often. I'm supposed to wash my clothes? You see how realistic this game is? You're already acting like a real college student. Also, you may want to uh, fully examine your new jeans. I just randomly happen to find this note in the pocket of my jeans, and it just so happens to have the address of her top secret hideout. Are you even trying? Hey, it took me months, months, to write that rogue hamster campaign. You wanted to keep going, so I'm winging it off of notes. Do you want to go rescue her or not? And when did I get a girlfriend? Do you ever read the back of your character sheet? I've got a car! Oh, and a girlfriend. Yeah, I see where you're right. Is she hot? Only one way to find out. Mm, all right. I go to the Dragon Lady's secret hideout. Okay. Hello! I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Steve, welcome to my secret hideout. Are you the Dragon Lady? Yes. But you're not Asian. No, I'm not. You play like dragons or something? No. Then why are you called the Dragon Lady? Because I just am, damn it! Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Forget about it. It's over. You can let go. I'm here to rescue my girlfriend. Stand aside. She's over there. First, you might remember my little friend, Spike. Did I kill him in the park? No, he survived. And now he's leveled up. He's a dire prom radium. Now you will feel the hurting of my schnookums. Okay, well, this shouldn't be too hard. Uh, one good smack with my baseball bat ought to take care of that. You don't have it. What? You uh, never said you picked it up after your shower. And I know you didn't shower with it. Well, it's still just a level one wild animal, right? I mean, I've done it before. I don't know. This is a dire Pomeranian. I think you're in for a good fight. <laughs> Thank you.
Charming is here. And now for my reward. Kiss me. Are you kidding me? Kiss you? Do you know how long I've been waiting here for you to come save me? And you haven't even called me in like two weeks. And I also heard from someone that you were flirting with Susan on campus. And another thing. Are you kidding me? Alright. I know exactly what to do about this. It was never the same after that. And then there was that time that you hooked up with that girl at the club. Sorry about the song.